developments tonight on the controversial early release of a notorious Rhode Island child killer. As we've been reporting for weeks, Michael Woodmansey is scheduled to be freed from prison 12 years early after having his murder sentence reduced for good behavior. And while prosecutors and state leaders fight to prevent Woodmansey's release, there's a new push in the General Assembly to make sure violent criminals are not rewarded for good behavior behind bars. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Yes, this is more or less the equivalent of an installing a traffic light after someone is killed at a dangerous intersection. Politicians here at the State House often don't get it right at first, but generally they get it right eventually. I do desire to enter these pleas. Michael Everett Woodmansey is one of the most savage of violent criminals in Rhode Island history. But recently he's taken on a new role. He's become the face of a criminal justice system many people now believe is dangerously broken. It turns out that thanks to good time credits he earned in prison, Michael Woodmansey is set to be released from his 40-year sentence later this year, 12 years early. In 1983, he admitted he murdered five-year-old Jason Foreman back in 1975. Now, Attorney General Peter Kilmartin and several state lawmakers want to eliminate good time credits, not for Michael Woodmansey, but from now on for other especially violent criminals. This isn't about looking in the past. It's about looking forward. It's about keeping our neighborhood safe. It's about keeping, keeping our kids safe. It's about keeping our streets safe. For the most detestable crimes, the best policy is not to allow for a reduction in sentence through good behavior at all. As lawmakers debate changing the law, Jason Foreman's father is struggling to absorb the fact that his son's killer is scheduled to be released early. I am going for a terrible time right now. I didn't think this was going to happen for a long, long time yet. Uh, for it to happen now, I, I've, you know, bring it all back up again, it, it, I, I, it's hard. Lawmakers here and Attorney General Kilmartin aren't worried that criminals will now not be motivated to behave well in prison. And remember, that's the reason for good time credits to get them to behave and to avoid riots. They're confident that in the end, the criminals will still be motivated to behave well because that matters when they come up for parole. Live at the Statehouse with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.